As I look back today, I'm not sure I'd call it courage. I would probably call it insanity. I left my position in public accounting to start a new organization with no money in the bank, no recipe or roadmap to follow, and frankly, it changed my life. I was born in Big Spring, Texas. It's a little West Texas town, it's oil country, and I grew up in a little 1,200 square foot home. My mom and dad had married just right out of high school. So mom was 17 when I came around, dad was 18. It wasn't a traditional home life. Anytime you have teenage parents, you're gonna have issues, and boy, we had some issues. You know, my dad is uh, smart, but stubborn uh, and difficult to deal with. I remember having a discussion with dad. I was a senior, I just graduated, and I had a girlfriend. And we just knew we were gonna get married. Well, you know, dad had been through that experience. He, he knew what that likely meant. And he sat me down one day and he said, listen, you've got two choices. You can get your butt in the car and go to Denton, Texas and go to school, or I'll get you a job at the gas plant. Well, I wanted no part of that. I remember every night, daddy coming home covered in oil and grease and his Nomex uniform. I'm thinking, you know, that's not for me. So I had to have a sit down with my uh, girlfriend, explain that to her, pack my bags and I took off. And it was, it was a pivotal moment for me in my life because, you know, frankly, none of this would have been possible had I uh, not made that decision. From my earliest days in our family, we struggled to deal with alcohol. From the time I was about 15 until I was uh, 27 years old, you know, I drank irresponsibly and to excess. But after all of those circumstances, I just made the decision that um, I'm done. You know, a man has to know his limitations, and that's one of mine. The good Lord pointed me in the right direction when he introduced me to Amanda. He told me I was the very first girl that he had ever dated who didn't complain about his work schedule. We are perfect for each other, and together we have five gorgeous daughters. Brent's faced a lot of adversity, and he's come out on the other end successful, and I'm very proud of him for that. And then that gives us how much time between the time we've got to go on stage. Becoming a member of the Horatio Alger Association is one of the most rewarding things that I've ever accomplished in my life. It's recognition that despite all of the hardships and all of the adversity, that I'm joining one of the most esteemed group of people on the planet. It's important for me to thank a number of people. First is my dad. Without dad, you know, I'd probably still be working hard in a gas plant somewhere in West Texas. My wife and family who have been so supportive. And then also Boone Pickens and Jody Grant for their confidence in me uh, to nominate me for this award. You know, I've won a lot of awards. I've had a lot of recognition in my life, but there's nothing more important to me than this because of what it stands for.